Segmentation is an image processing technique that's often used in scientific image analysis. It provides information about various regions of interest in an image. It involves classifying each pixel to one or more classes. Semantic segmentation is a type of image segmentation where all pixels corresponding to a class are given same pixel values. In this example, all the pixels corresponding to the background are given a value of zero, and the ones corresponding to the nuclei are given a value of 255, showing them in bright pixels in this image. Instant segmentation is another variation of image segmentation where all pixels corresponding to each object share a unique pixel value. For example, all pixels in this yellow nuclei share the same pixel value. This type of approach can be very useful if you are interested in object parameters for each object in your image. The exact approach you take for segmentation completely depends upon the complexity of your image. In this example, the nuclei can be easily separated from the background by applying a simple histogram-based thresholding. Otsu can be used to find that appropriate threshold value to separate the nuclei from the background. As the complexity increases, you may find machine learning-based approaches to be more efficient. In this example, the central smooth region and the textured regions have very similar pixel values. This makes it very difficult for histogram-based thresholding to separate these two regions efficiently. Extracting features that represent texture and applying a traditional machine learning algorithm such as random forest or support vector machines can definitely separate these two regions. Traditional machine learning techniques often yield excellent results even with limited training data, making them easily trainable on any workstation. But as the complexity of images increases, for example, in this case, detecting mitochondria against a complex background is a very challenging task, and this cannot be easily achieved using traditional machine learning approaches. Deep learning has been proven very successful at segmenting these type of challenging images. But deep learning requires hundreds if not thousands of labeled images, and it may take hours to days to train a deep learning model. But once trained, these models can be used in production mode to segment future images. Now let's go through a few example cases where we look at the segmentation using thresholding, traditional machine learning, and deep learning. Let's start with histogram thresholding of low complex images. As you can see, a single threshold value can easily separate the background pixels from the pixels corresponding to our regions of interest. In this example, nuclei. But the same approach will not work for medium complex images. Here, both the smooth region and the texture regions have very similar pixel values, making it impossible to discriminate them just by using histogram values. This is where extracting features that quantify the texture and applying traditional machine learning can be very efficient. Random forest is a traditional machine learning approach that's based on decision trees. In this example, we extracted features that represent texture from both the smooth and the textured regions and used random forest to segment the pixels. You may find this approach to be appropriate for many use cases, but when you apply the exact same approach to extract mitochondria from these complex images, the result is not satisfactory. This is where deep learning has been proven to be very efficient, but deep learning has many architectures and a new architecture is published almost on a weekly basis. UNIT has been proven to be a viable approach for scientific image processing, especially in the field of biomedical image segmentation. UNIT is an architecture that arranges convolutional filters in a contraction path where the input image is progressively scaled down and an expansion path where the scaled down information is upscaled back to the original image size. Let's have a look at the mitochondria segmentation results using UNIT. In this example, the traditional UNIT architecture has been used but modified using efficient net as encoders or contraction path and pixel shuffle as decoder or the expansion path. This semantic segmentation has been converted to instant segmentation by automatically defining boundaries between mitochondria and adding them as new classes for unit training. And these boundary classes are later used to separate the objects. Putting together these deep learning models require you to be coding proficient, but you can use them on a peer.com without the need to write any code. You can train your own models 
by annotating your images, training your unit by selecting either semantic or instance segmentation, and later using the trained model to segment your future images. Please sign up for your free account today at www.appear.com and get started with your image segmentation. Thank you.